Tonight on the Broalition, we talk about the high gas prices and try to convince these knuckleheads to buy an electric car. <laughs> Cue the music. Nope. It's a ditch, you'll be fine. <laughs> hey, good evening. Welcome to the Gospel Bro Alicia. Pastor Lee here, joined on my right by Mike Paul, the Hoosier Hillbilly, and to my left, Don this game is Jared Robinson, who crashed his car this week. <laughs> was, uh, uh, well, I guess technically I crashed the car, but we could say I got another drunk driver off the road. That's true. That's true. That's true. He took him out. One drunk driver less on the road. True Mad Max <laughs> form. It was really good. And joined as always in the studio by Shut Up Cameron, our producer. Extraordinary. I like shut up Cameron way better than I do liberal Cameron because he's not so he's kind of liberal Token still. Liberal. Nah, he's but not I anymore. Mean, you know, he, I, he got he got to work on it. But he, he did buy a there. Toyota. Uh, uh, well, at least it's not an electric car. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Because only cool people buy electric cars. No scratches or anything. Oh, oh yeah. Well, here we are. As you can see, this oh that way. Sorry. Uh, well, yeah. those are some. Uh, these are these are hot guys. Numbers. These are California gas prices. <laughs> this is what what day is this? We're going to document this. Uh, the eighth or ninth. Eighth eighth of March, twenty twenty two. Here's the gas prices. I miss mean tweets. <laughs> Absolutely, I do. I could, Absolutely. Who? What, what country boy was it? I said I could really go for a mean tweet right now. Or something. Oh, I could. Yeah, <laughs> I could. Yeah, I would love it. Be sure to like and subscribe down at the bottom. And uh, if you're here trying to be convinced to buy an electric car, I'm going to get to that in a second. But we got to talk about this stuff because I, I, I this is part of his trying to convince us to buy an electric. I know car. I get mad a lot of times about politics, but I'm just I am furious about this. Mm-hmm. I am just because it's like you know what you have to do, just freaking do it. They don't want to. They They're don't thinking want to. about the future. Well, I think the mistake that we make is, uh, as Republicans, I'm, well, I'm not even Republican anymore. I'm no. Just, conservative. Conservative. But the mistake that we make is that we don't understand the plan. Mm. And so we get mad when we see things that they're doing, and we're like, why in the world are they doing that? It's because we don't understand the plan. There is a method to the madness. Yeah, this is, and we've talked about this. I'm going to talk about it every single episode. These people are evil. They're not stupid. Nope. They're not incompetent. They're not, even though they may, act, well, okay, except for Biden. But, yeah, but the, re- the people who are controlling him. Yes, there you go. These are evil, antichrist-level villains. These are bad bad players Mm -hmm. these people are and evil doesn't care if it's logical evil has an agenda and only thing that evil cares about is making sure that that agenda happens and that's what you see now taking place it's taking place right in front of you if you never believed in the new world order before believe it now because you're seeing what they do and uh it's functioning. I, I don't know. It, it's getting to the point. Uh, see, what happens is, and you're going to see this, the prices are going to go up. This is in California, but this is coming to a town near you. Mm-hmm. They're going to raise the prices, and then they're going to come out, and then the price is going to go down to $4 a gallon, and you're going to be going. Yep, and everybody's going to go, it's so low. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, my gosh, mm-hmm. I, got, I got gas for $4 a gallon today. Yep, that's the plan. Do you remember? Just a couple of years ago when you were, I think we were getting gas for less than $2 in some places. I, I vividly remember when I first bought the truck and we stopped in Nashville to fill it. Yeah. It was almost on empty. It took 46 gallons and it cost me $92. And I about fell over. It was $1.79, I believe, for diesel. $1.79. That's premium. Price. Now, yeah. I just put today, put 16 gallons in 
actually 15.9 to be precise, and it was $83. For a quarter tank, $83 versus almost a full tank two years ago for 90 What I don't understand, I saw a meme about it today, is we're going to cut off oil. We're going to cut off taking oil from Russia because we want to hurt their economy. <laughs> and we did that. And then we did that to ourselves. And they're like, yeah, it's going to hurt us too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's going to hurt us too. Who's yeah, blaming Jen, COVID? Jen Psaki actually got on and said in one of her things, she was blaming the it's post COVID <laughs> is why the gas. But the war is having, going to have an influence on it also, but just not as not as bad as everybody thinks. Wait, wait. Post COVID is causing post COVID is what they're saying because now. Because nobody was driving, quote unquote, yeah. during, during COVID. COVID yes. And now everybody's so, driving now one week after it's over. So yeah. therefore, we don't have enough demand. Supply. Yeah, demand uh, increases. We never stopped driving. Where people no. were enough no, I people. I tell you, people here in Indiana, we did what we wanted. Absolutely. Were enough people still state. staying home last week. Were enough people still staying home I, last week? It's yeah. a lie. It, it all comes down to... She is a freaking godforsaken liar. Why are we buying oil from Russia? <laughs> yeah, well, because we closed their pipe di- pipeline down Well, did you year. see where the Saudis have come out and just basically said, hey, we have all this reserve and we'll sell it to you, but you have to ally everybody against Russia Yeah. to where no one will buy Russian oil. Oh, well, now we're going to buy oil from Iran. So, mm-hmm. oh, okay, yeah, because that makes it... They're so much nicer than the Russians. Why? <laughs> you... I, I, I don't know. It's like you're in your basement, you have these canned pickle jars that will supply you forever, and you go out and you're, buy your pickles from other people. Mm. We've got the oil. We've got enough oil to be energy independent. Of course, that one guy, I, I think he was like the energy secretary, said the only way to get energy independence is to get off fossil fuels. Which even Elon Musk came out and said, yeah, "Open the pipeline, open the pipelines." We he goes, even though it's going to hurt my bottom dollar because you know that's bad for my business. He goes, yeah. "We need to do it because we don't have the technology yet. We're not there." We yeah, but can't. here's the thing, though. Just because it hurts his particular brand, yeah, his brand still relies on plenty of other transportation things that still need fuel. Absolutely, <laughs> he still has to rely on semis to bring stuff to him and he to deliver his to cars. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, it, it hurts him, too. Uh, just uh, one of the local ga- uh, garbage places I just saw on Facebook put in there that, you know, they're doing a 15% increase on their on their price. You're going to see a lot of companies. Y- y'all think this just affects the individual driving driving around, but it doesn't. It affects no. all the business. Yep. It affects, affects your everything. grocery prices. The, the, the drivers are paying, you know, thousands of dollars to fill their trucks up now on these semis. you got three, 400-gallon tanks. That's thousands of dollars. It's, Who do you think gonna, they're going to pass that on to? The consumer. Yeah. And it's going to be the new normal. They mm-hmm. keep doing this stuff and they keep pushing this stuff. And they keep raising prices and doing all this. And then we just have to kind of get, you know, just shut up and get used to it. We should have been paying attention to the movies the last 10 years. If you've watched any like apocalyptic or post-apocalyptic yeah. movies in the background. Yeah. All the like, gas prices This is like this, this destroyed land and it's like this old gas sign, $10 a gallon yeah. or something. Every yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> what did they say? That movie, I Am Legend? Yeah. That the post-apocalyptic gas was cheaper than this gas. <laughs> <laughs> that's, how, that's how bad it is. That movie, yeah. But well, I then, did, Go ahead. Then you have people running around saying that this has nothing to do with what's going on in Russia. And they're right. It has everything to do with, I think, again, the people that can manage and manipulate this stuff taking advantage of things that are going oh, on. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Every time... Evil. What what it does is that when it sees an opportunity where it can advance its cause, it's going to use that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You saw it with the BLM stuff, the George Floyd thing. It just they didn't care anything about George Floyd. And, and several of these oil companies, Shell and other people, it, it, if you get look now, how, how honest this is, I don't know, but I've been doing a little research and I've seen that some of these companies that bought Buku Buku supply of oil. When Biden got in office, I mean, like fifteen dollars a barrel, which now it's like one hundred twenty something dollars a barrel. They were buying Buku supply for stock. What, what, so what? you're telling me they bought all this at that time for fifteen dollars, and I didn't see a dollar gas right then. No, fifteen dollars a barrel. That's 
that's way cheap. I mean, even yeah, when it was even is, when it's a dollar seventy nine a gallon, it's fifty dollars a barrel. So you go to fifteen dollars a barrel. Well, now that gas will be thirty something cents. Yeah, <laughs> you know. So why why did they why did they buy all that? Where did it go? Is it hanging on to it? Are they really just taking it to us now? I mean, because they can. What what do you? Here's the thing. What are you gonna do? What are you going to do? Well, they're going to. You have to get back and forth. You have to do things. You're going to pay it. We're going to go back to the Stone Age. That's what we're going to do. Everybody's going to have to ride motorcycles. But you think that these elites in Washington? You think Nancy Pelosi's going to ride around on a bicycle? You know what? Yeah. Maybe, maybe we were spot on six months ago when we were talking about this shutdown being the first phase of the next type of shutdown, mm-hmm. and we called them an energy shutdown. Did we not? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did. And that before long, that we were going to be throttled in the amount of fuel that we could use oh, in any given period. Next. And here, instead of controlling and mandating that, they're just making it where nobody can afford it. We can stay yeah. home yeah. anyways. Yeah. yeah. We're going to start calling this the Gospel Broalition prophetic <laughs> broadcast. <laughs> we're the prophets here. Because every time we talk about something, it happens. Yeah. And, and I, I believe that's, if, if this goes according to plan, I believe the energy companies will follow. Because, I mean, look, at you got rolling blackouts in California, Texas. you got all these places that can't keep up with demand. How, how soon before that hits us? Mm-hmm. Because we supply a lot of Indiana's power plants supply places like Texas. We ship a lot of our energy out. So if some of these places are having rolling blackouts that we ship our energy to, what does that mean for us? Can you even comprehend having to totally, totally – rely on solar and wind power <laughs> so i had the pleasure of talking to a uh, guy that actually put windmills in oh and works cool. on windmills yeah you ask him what, what actually what benefit you have from a windmill besides oh look i did something good for the environment yeah virtue that's signaling it he said at when you add the cost of maintenance the cost of install the cost of making it and everything and all the energy that goes into producing the windmill itself, that windmill in its lifespan will never create enough energy to make up to that pay for itself. To yeah. pay for itself. So they don't even pay for themselves. Basically right. the government gives them subsidies because they're green, so they can go out and look good. You can go and um, put in solar panels and all that stuff, and we've actually talked about doing that. Mm-hmm. But once you look at it, it would take you... Now, I'm not doing it from the point of where I, I'm going to try to recoup my cost. Yes. I'm just to the point where I don't you're think... to turn your lights on. Yeah, I'm yeah gonna we're not going to have... Lights. I want to be able to turn yeah. my lights on, right. Yeah, yeah, because recouping you know, cost things at this point in time is not is not feasible. You put a $40,000 system on your house, you know how many electric bills you can pay for $40,000? <laughs> because in that seven years, when those batteries go bad, you're replacing those batteries. Yeah. So... It, and you're not doing it to recoup, recoup costs. You're doing it for a future of energy. You're doing it so I have something down the line whenever they shut the power off, I've got some kind of backup. To and me, even, that's what solar is. And it's even worse than that. It's like the the energy companies leeching off of you anyways. Because when yeah. you do something like that, you you still want to be plugged in in case of a backup. Yep. In, order, in a lot of municipal areas, if you are plugged into them, they, you are they providing. Yes. Yeah. yeah. The whole but time. Used to be you actually got paid for that. Yeah. Well, you notice yep. there was a kick around here a long time ago where, uh, as last two couple years ago, where everybody was getting solar panels because they were getting ready to put an end to, they were going to put a date on it. You could grandfather into where they would pay you back for your electricity. So if you didn't have it by a certain date, all they could siphon your electricity and there's nothing you knew about it and they're not going to pay you for it. Hmm. Well, it's all part of the plan. <laughs> Cut off the oil, raise prices, nobody drives, nobody works, everybody becomes dependent upon the government. Do I get to sit home and play video games all day? This dependency started back yeah. in the Obama phase. And mm. eat cat food. What? Yeah. This dependency, government dependency, started with Obama. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we got a four-year break from it, and now we're back to it. Yeah. Yeah, we have a really class, and they, they function that way. And you're going to have to go without, and they're not going to go without. Mm-mm. They're just not. I bet you money that the gas that – I I don't know. I've got a theory. I just think the gas that these people get is a lot cheaper than what we get. I don't know if it's like a pump at the Capitol or something. Oh, I have no oh, doubt yeah. all of your government vehicles have some type of – they're getting $15 a Tesla, barrel. Right. Tesla's partnered with the government now. I think the 
Municipal vehicles are probably going to be Tesla powered. Oh, huh. That's. I hope Elon doesn't that's crack. Odd, isn't it? Because Pelosi actually knew about that before it actually happened. She's the one that invested. Well, she a lot invested of money in, in that. that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's some underhanded trading going on. Maybe Tesla's. Uh, maybe old. Uh, Elon's oh, these in people. On it. They're so corrupt. They are so. I mean. So what are we going to do though, if everybody goes to electric cars, and then they shut down the coal plants? What are we? Is there anybody in Washington with any intelligence? You're gonna have to. You know, remember those little fl- the emergency flashlights where you got the little crank. You're just gonna uh, stand uh, out there and just yeah. crank your car. You'll for have like to crank four your hours. car, yeah, so that you could go somewhere. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, I know I'm not supposed to say this as a Christian, and I'm not really talking about individuals when I say this, but I hate these people. Mm. <laughs> well, I do. You I hate, hate what they stand. I you just, can hate evil. I hate evil. And these people are evil. Hate what is evil. And these yeah. people are freaking evil. They are. This global warming group out there, no, they are gosh. a cult. I guess we are. I guess we're back on that now. That's, that's over. the new what? thing, yeah. COVID's over. Pandemic's over. Warming. Back to the. Oh, we're back to global warming. The global again. warming oh, thing. Great. They are a cult. And if you, for one second, think that they wouldn't kill you and your family to save the planet. Yeah, well, you've got a potential to be a, a Jew. You know, they would, they, I mean, seriously, they would kill you. They're going to put you in a concentration camp because you're just sitting around going, "We're okay." Yeah, you just don't get it. You don't understand. This is Nazi level type brainwashing here. These people are nuts, mm-hmm. yeah. and they would they would kill all of us to save the planet. Oh yeah, they would. Uh, they would. They'd take an entire city out. You, you think this is them, hyperbole. This yeah. is not, folks. If you told all those global warm people tomorrow that, man, if you just nuke Texas, it, it'd go away. Guess what they would do? They'd nuke Texas without a he- without a hesitation. Absolutely. If they said, you know what, we're going to do this vaccine thing, and then we're going to hit a button one day and kill all the population that we don't like so we can save the planet, they would do it. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, 100%. They would do it. And we're all rational human beings here. We're not... We're not really crazy, believe it or not. But you just, you do not love, this is the problem. You do not understand the level of evil these people are. Yeah. And you're just, you're dealing with it here and you're just trying, if I can just be nice, I can win them to Jesus. They're evil. And yeah. Trump always tells that story every one of his rallies about the woman taking the snake in and yep. <laughs> and loving and caring for the snake and then the snake bites. Yeah, bite her, and yeah. and the snake's like, you knew I was a snake, snake when you brought me in here. Yeah, it, they're evil, and the only way, and oh, we're already at the bottom of the recommendation pool anyway. Yeah, not, we're not getting hurt at this point. But I'm just telling you, the only the only thing evil doesn't even, um, they don't evil doesn't fear anything. Mm-hmm. Evil doesn't fear God, mm-hmm. but evil is subjected to God. But the only thing that fear understands is a kick in the teeth. That's the only thing it gets. Mm -hmm. And when good people start rising up, and you know what? If you want to pray, pray. I believe in that. I believe that God can tear down strongholds. I get that. But somebody's going to have to do something. And I'm not, like I said, I'm not advocating for violence, but I'm getting in trouble. You know, you these so guys have gotten really quiet you know, all of a sudden. Waiting, I'm, We're just waiting, listening. I'm waiting for something to come out. No, I just... Uh, we could just... As long as we don't do anything, this crap's going to continue, folks. So yeah. you need... I'll just leave it at that. You're yeah. going to have to figure that out. That unless you're willing to do something... And I'm not. I'm talking about protesting. I'm not even talking about violence toward other people. I'm talking about... Until we, I know you don't want to do it, but until we become like BLM and start flipping cars somewhere, mm-hmm. they're not going to change because was, they do what they do because they know that we will sit there, shut up, they and know take that it. The good, the good citizens are just going to take it. We want to be good little have, Christians yeah, and all this stuff. But well, good little Christians started the Revolutionary War. In case you don't know your history, that's true, and they started for a lot less than this. Five five percent tax increase, and they're throwing tea into the Boston Harbor. They I tripled. Mean, they've tripled our fuel prices, and we got seven like, percent inflation. We're all what? We're all scheduled to get four percent raises this year with seven percent inflation. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, maybe. Good the, luck col- with the colonists would already be killing people. Yeah, they would. They would. Maybe dragging them out in the street. Because right now we have taxation 
without representation. One hundred percent. We have a group of people in Washington who don't care anything about, it, and even the people you voted for don't care anything yep. about you. Or and and even, our Democrats yeah. don't matter. I mean, even everybody, every, every day, Dan Crenshaw, somebody, Dan Crenshaw, who I really like, come out. And he's he's wishy washy too. They're all wishy washy. The only there's only two of them that really. Ted Cruz and Rand Paul. Uh, and then the uh, uh, Tom Cotton, the guy in Florida. DeSantis. 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 Jim, and Jim you Jordan, the, people like that. you see that. DeSantis in his last interview? Well, one of his last Told things. him to take their mask off. He walked in there and he goes, you know what? You can wear them if you want. Please don't. And he was pissed. He, he was like, take that was, mask yes, off. Yes, he was mad. Yeah. I was like, that's my man right there. I he's got to, he's got to run. Yeah. But he won't run this time. No, he won't. He'll he'll let Trump run this time. Trump and DeSantis? You think? You and think, then DeSantis in 2028? Well, let's be honest. Do you think Trump's got a chance? Absolutely. Even with the uh, system, <laughs> there's no way now. I thought about this the other day. <laughs> there's no way now with this disaster that this idiot has been in. The oh, White it House. has been. It's been fun to watch and terrifying at the same time. If he time. comes out, it's really bad when you miss a ball. He comes out and gets hey, eighty million votes. If again. he comes out and gets eighty million votes again. <laughs> Is that going to be enough then, folks? <laughs> oh, no. He's the greatest president of all time. Is that going to be enough for you to start doing something then? He's so great. Oh, no, there's still a he's, bunch of people there. Right? He's, he's tripled yeah, our gas them. prices. The groceries have doubled. <laughs> it, literally everything has just jumped in price. It's COVID. <laughs> Even, yeah. though COVID's it's gone over, now. It. Even though it's gone now, it's still COVID's fault. <laughs> That's the next thing. Or global warming. No. No, I'm sorry. We're on global warming. Global warming's fault. I've never seen anything like it. They talk about, I mean, the Crusades. There were a lot of radicals running around in there. Inquisition, yeah. But this global warming cult is a whole new religion, oh, buddy. Oh, they are. They have taken fanaticism to a new level, man. They're they nuts. mind blown. So expensive. And all those cars, you know, and, and all that stuff. And be patient with auto manufacturers because they have to do these electric cars to offset this CAFTA mm-hmm. stuff and all that. Hey, so. But no, but Ford didn't have to make that abomination. The truck? No, the truck is cool because the truck looks like an F-150. It looks like a truck. It's oh, the like mach The Mustang. Oh, man. That's, oh, that's not why did we even oh, call my gosh, it that's an ugly car. a Mustang? Why didn't you call it the ugly electric car? Because that's what it is. You could have called it anything but the Mustang. The Mustang, I get it. Oh, Mustangs hey, what's are, up? Mustangs are gay. I get it. But Mustangs the still is ugly. are cool. What's a male horse that has no nuts? A gelding? Gelding. They should have called it the gelding. It's because yeah. it has no nuts. <laughs> that <laughs> I mean, <it> car, <laughs> but it's not a Ford anymore. All they had to what do. What is it now? Mustang's its own brand. Mustang is its own. Brand. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah. For the last. When did that happen? When the Mach-E started, really? there's no Ford. It's just the horse. But there's all no they would have had to do was take the Mustang that they already have and just yeah. put an electric. Mo- I would have been like, okay, maybe. maybe. Oh, that I'm sure thing, it's coming. I look that thing. Go, uh, like no, it looks like a juke. We first, by the way, Nissan Juke, ugliest car ever made. <laughs> we first I saw like that a, at a parking lot, sorry. and it was like, "Why is that got a Mustang emblem on it? That's like a little SUV." Yeah. And I was like, "We drove around." It, it a looks like times. it yeah. looks like a lowered escape. Yeah. It looks like they took an escape, lowered it to the ground, put some wheels on it, and said, "We put an electric motor in that. It's a Mustang." No, no, it's not. I would say go out and do donuts. It would flip over. Well, just say, <laughs> it was a, to counteract like the global tall. warming people, I just go out and do, bark and like do donuts, it, but it costs you too much to do that. I have no idea. I I think maybe I think you can get an all wheel drive model. Drive. I think that most of them are probably front wheel drive though. Which Reverse again, oh, that makes it worse. A Mustang that's front wheel drive. I mean, the Mustang uh, Two was. I thought that I would drive a Mustang Two before I would drive an electric Mustang, and that was one of the that was the second ugliest car ever made. <laughs> Those were hideous cars. Remember the little Mustang? Mike, he, Mike's on a roll. I'm just going to let him go. Oh, my gosh. Ford, I love you. S- don't be stupid. Okay, <laughs> you already had him beat with the truck. Tesla's truck looks like a a kid drew it with a crayon. I'd drive it. Okay. I'd drive it With his bulletproof beat. windows that you can break with a baseball bat. <laughs> yeah. and, I, I can break any window with a baseball bat. You can break a bulletproof window with a baseball bat? Well, I don't know why he would have to have bulletproof windows on there that's anyway. Because that's what he advertised. And I he's like, Psh. The truck is cool. Oops. It is not. Now, the F-150, it looks like a truck. That's a mm-hmm. cool truck. I don't like the shape of the truck. The, the 3, the S, they're good-looking cars. The well, trucks, oh, trucks you just are, said the 3 was a good-looking car. I like the 3, too. Uh, it, it, now the 3 is a good-looking car. Yeah, it is. No, I not. like it. It's I like it better than the S. <gasps> okay, Whoa. now you've done it. Whoa. <laughs> 
<laughs> but I like Ooh. little hatchbacks. So. Holy cow. I don't like that's sedans. That's it. He has just confirmed that's his it. gayness right I don't there. like Your car sedans. card has been <laughs> Your car card is turned in. I don't like sedans. I don't like Ford. Turn them in. I turn them in. It's over. That's, that's, why my, is, that's, 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 why my that's car pathetic. had three doors. Nobody on the planet. You're you the only doors. human being who thinks the three is better looking than the S. I like the three. I don't think. Yeah, he might be the only one. Gahey. Gahey. <laughs> I like little cars. I cannot lie. So can <laughs> so, so convince you other us, brothers can't deny. Convince us that we need to buy one of those stupid ugly cars. Well, all bikes. Bikes are good with the segways now, isn't he? Yeah. He is. I mean, we're talking about why do I need one? All right. We'll do a time stamp on this so you can kind of if you want to if you're thinking about getting an electric car, you can come here and, and we're gonna pros and cons. Yeah. We're gonna try to do be be serious about this. Yeah, and I'm gonna present stuff out. Mike's gonna do his usual idiot hey I hate everything, you know, but <laughs> Because it's gay. But then I'll tell you, I'll tell you the truth. I will. What I will he be, says when he nobody's around. I will around. be completely uh, honest. I will not tell a lie. Okay. I might fib, but I won't tell a lie. All right. Why you should get an electric vehicle? You shouldn't. All right. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> These are not in any order. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Do you have cons too, or are you just going to be on completely one side? Because if you have no cons, I've got to be the bad I've got, guy. I've got a couple of cons. Okay. All right. So. All right. All right. Number one, and this is kind of it's hard to explain, but you're, one of the reasons why you're hesitant to get an electric car is because you don't want to be associated with these global warming wackos. I get it. I understand it. When the Prius came out, <laughs> uh, the smug factor went through the roof. Unless you had an NRA. Watch the South Park e- episode where they do the smug, uh, smug alert or something like that. That was great. We're talking about the Prius. Everybody had one. Virtue signaling, here I am, I'm great, I'm wonderful, I'm fantastic. Yeah. You don't want to have anything to do with that. You don't want to have an electric car because you don't want to be around, uh, associated with those people. I get that, I understand that. But you got to get to the point where you stop letting them have things. But those people drive hybrids, I think. I don't think they often drive full-on electric cars. Well, the Prius, Prius was a hybrid, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was not a pretty oh, car. Yeah. Well, it's, it's still it's not. not. It's still yeah. not, <laughs> yeah, after many years. But they took the rainbow flag. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they took the rainbow. And they said you can't use the rainbow, so you can't even put a rainbow anymore. We have some curtains on, at the church that look like a rainbow. Yeah. Like, you take those down, pull them pull in, think we're associated with gay. <laughs> so that's why you know they took away that. They took away you know, hey, how you feeling today? I'm doing okay. Oh my gosh, white power. Yeah, yeah. Don't, <laughs> no, don't do that. No, oh, stop. It's like no, it's okay. So you can't even play the game anymore where you put it on your leg and you know yeah, you can't even can't. do that anymore because it's a white power's. They took that away, you know. And I just want to go, there you go, you know. And and so they're taking away something that could be fun because yeah. we don't want to be associated with it. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, that's my act of defiance. You know what? Screw you. I'm going to do it anyway. The Pharisees. I, I get that. I right. get that. Screw it. I do it. Yeah, I'm going to buy an electric car and just to show you. <laughs> I bought a couple of them, actually. <laughs> three. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, there is three. But if but listen. Car manufacturers that are not watching this show, I'll just say it anyway, <laughs> to act like you're watching. If you want to sell more electric cars, g- stop attaching yourselves to these environmental wackos yes. out there. I would, I, I'm seriously, if I'm trying to sell an electric car, I'm going to put it on a drag strip next to a Ferrari and smoke its doors. Yeah, That's how you're going to sell a car. Yeah. Well, they do that on YouTube. They do that on YouTube, but they don't ever see a commercial. Yeah. yeah. You know where the guys well, run up. Well, the commercials are like Chevy, where they'll take it. They'll show here's the new cruise or whatever, and then they put the literal millennialist looking. Oh my gosh, pajama boy! Yeah, there in there, and it's just like I want nothing to do with that car now. Because if they cool drove it like that all the time, they'd have to charge it more, which would counter sort of counterintuitive to their plan. Oh, I don't uh, really know why you brought that up. I'm not going. We would never do a whole podcast. Look at your commercials now. Have I talked about this before? I don't think so. Look at your commercials. If you ever want, I don't watch them anymore. I'd stream yeah. everything. And see if you ever see a commercial with two white people in it. Really? No, they're usually uh, culturally It's either going to be diverse. It's either yeah. going to be a, a different ethnicity or it's going to be a mixed. Yeah, you usually race. got, you got to usually got one of all in there now. Yeah. Yeah, the Amazon commercial okay. that is long usually has okay. <laughs> literally every single type of person. I'm pretty sure they have a trans person right. in their commercial. Name. But I don't think you'll ever see an episode 
to where I mean a commercial where there's going to be only white people, only white people in it. Hmm. And here's the thing about that: you when, never, they, when they started, and we're, and we're a racist country. Well, folks, you know, it's look at it now. I remember a time when you were growing up where if you had like a, a mixed couple on a commercial, Ooh, nobody was, would buy your stuff. Now people risque. just do it all the time. Nobody cares anything about it, you know, yeah. including me. And it's just like, that's how far we've come. Nobody yeah, pays nobody attention cares. to that anymore. Nobody, nobody cares. cares. The guy I used to work with made a good point about that. When the whole BLM thing and George Floyd thing happened, started a couple of years ago, almost two years ago now, he was saying, you know, before you could, you could watch a commercial and you'd see white people in a commercial. You'd see black people in a commercial. He goes, now there's only black people in commercials. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, it's just absolutely. That's all there was now. It's no like, diversity. What, like Thirteen percent of the population, or something it's like 15, that. Fifteen. Yeah. Yeah, maybe fifteen now, and it's just like. Hmm. But they're in all the commercials. Yes, we got them all in there. Yes. I wonder if you're like if it's Kentucky Fried Chicken, would they have black people in there? Probably not. I would say no. Well, oh, that would be racist. The Popeyes commercials had black people in them, almost almost That's exclusively. True. Where are you guys so. seeing all these commercials? Goodness. Uh, sir, <laughs> at work, our break room TV only has the over-the-air thing, so I see lots oh, of Oh, when you're pumping gas now, they show commercials. That's true. Oh, you're just, yeah. you're, no, 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 you're no. sitting down. Right side, second button from the top, tap it twice, those commercials go away. Oh, okay, that's good to know. I've never started well, there to pump you, that We're long. informative. There's something that you need to know. There you go. It mutes them. It mutes them. Because I get tired of looking at it. You wouldn't have to have that if you had an electric car, though. You know, <laughs> I'm paying $10 a gallon. I don't want to look at commercials while I'm doing it. Yeah, I ain't no joke. <laughs> oh. And they're loud. You're already taking enough of them. They are own. loud. You turn them on, you're yeah. just like, I'm sorry, folks. Yeah. It's midnight. You're the only person yeah. here. It's the pump. It's the pump. <laughs> yeah. These unsavory characters in their car, where they're not paying attention to them. All of a sudden, they're like, what? Yeah. Okay. Oh, by the way, when you're... When you're getting gas, there's no reason to have your stereo on. Yes, there is. When you're, I, I, hate, I leave mine on, too. I you know why I leave passion. mine on? Because I have a diesel, and I don't shut it off. I don't normally shut it off. I, pulled up, I, never I, I know, but I pulled up next to a guy to vacuum my car. Was his car running? The way he had to vacuum on, he wanted to be able to hear his music. It's like, really, man, I, I, I'm headphones. a musician. I love music. It's just like, I don't have to be listening to it. All the time. I mean, if the dude's sitting at the pump and the car's not running and you can hear a stereo, he's a tool. He is a tool. Yeah. My, you can hear my stereo because I just don't turn anything off. I just jump out of the truck. I put fuel in it. Matter of fact, I do it with the van and my wife it drives her crazy that I leave the van running. I don't care. You could blow the place up, man. Oh, yeah. I can blow it up too by smoking. But that, you know, yeah. they'll stop other people from doing it. I see them sitting there smoking by, well, whatever. And by the way, the Mythbusters, I'm pretty sure, proved that you can't do it with a cell phone. Yeah, they used to say that. Yeah, they used to say cell phone will blow it up. But mm -hmm. I love watching old movies from the eighties and stuff like that. We Die Hard two, we watched that a couple of months ago, and he goes into the airport, lights a cigarette. <laughs> like, holy cow! You can't do that. What? This is from like the nineteen twenties. What is this? It's so awesome. They Back just the yeah, day. you just see him smoking all the time. Yeah. They used to be a you, you. Nobody cared. Yeah. All right. Well, I mean that's that's true. Okay. Well, see, that's what happened to the vaccines. I think more people, if they had just said, get a vaccine if you want one, you don't have to get one, and they just went nuts about it and started attaching it to all these crazy Karens out there. Mm -hmm. And and me and Mike, you know, the way we are, we're just like, well, I'm not nope. doing it. <laughs> you tell us to do it, we're going to not do right, it. Right. Uh, it worked for a certain number of the population, but it should have triggered a flag or should have raised the flag for everybody when their initial – propaganda for the vaccine was to hire social media influencers to convince oh, you to get it. Yeah. yeah. That was right up front. Yeah. They knew nobody wanted it. Yep. Right. Yeah. When you do that, yeah. When you do that to that's me, that's how you started it. Yeah. yeah when you do that to me, yeah. I'm like, okay, well, even if that, you know, little soy boy is telling me to do it, I'm not going to do it now. I mean, honestly, what got me was that the Democrats sitting there going, don't take it. Don't take it. It's evil. Trump made it. Blah, blah, blah. The day Biden takes office, we all need to be vaccinated. It's like, whoa, we there have, is a major change. Like, no thanks, I'm good. You I don't it. follow people on Twitter. I don't have it. But Defiant L, if you ever get a chance to look his stuff up, Defiant L is a guy who just, he doesn't have any commentary. He just takes tweets that somebody made a long time ago and oh, compares it to tweets yeah. that they made today. Yeah. yeah. And it's hilarious because they, they just... I'm, uh, but we've talked about this ad nauseum here. They have no sense of hy hypocrisy. They just no. they don't know. They just don't. They Two don't statements get it. completely contradicting yeah. each other. And they're like, I don't know what you're talking. And about. And they're like, okay. Yeah. And, and they, they What's wrong with that? But well, then they pull down the old one. 
unless somebody's got a yeah. snip of but, it. Yeah. But you, it's the internet. Yeah. Somebody's, somebody's got it somewhere. somewhere. Yep. But if they hadn't, if they hadn't, if people hadn't got, if you didn't read stories about people walking through, you know, shopping places and stuff like that and screaming at people, uh, I think more people would have gotten it. But people, when they see stuff like that, they're just like, I'm mm-hmm. not, I'm not going to get it now just to make you mad. I'm just going <laughs> to, you know, and I, I begged, I be- I walk, I would walk in places, no mask. Please, somebody say something to me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and they never told no. me nothing. Yeah. I wanted to. Yeah. yeah. And all the year, I, and all the, the two years, I had one person say something to me, and he walked by and goes, "No mask, nice." And I said, "What'd you say?" And he, and he didn't kept say walking word back, did he? Nope. And the only thing I, I ever got stomp was stomp a mud hole in you. I. The only other thing I ever got was going into a couple places. I oh, you got lectured to about old people. Yeah. I did get that, but I got asked a couple times throughout that era that, uh, do you need a mask? You know what's great? And that was just so simple. I just said no and kept walking. But but I didn't get to, there was no confrontation. You know what's great? What is that? You said that era. I, it's gone. It's over now. It's gone, it's folks. It's magically gone. Two months We're ago, free. they said you have to get vaccinated or you'll lose your job. I need a confetti and image now, or something. And now, what happened? Yeah. It's it, it just disappeared? That's yeah, amazing. it was literally two months ago. You were going to get fired mm-hmm. yeah. if you didn't get the vaccine, and now it's gone. And yeah, what about yep. all these military service members mm-hmm. that they sent out? And, you know that, and they just even after the mandates were dropped, they still removed them from the military. Yep. There's uh, a plan there for something. Don't know what it is. That's one of the defiant L's. What he did. Somebody said we ought to put all we ought to draft the unvaccinated, and and. We can't be said. We can't be in the military. Yeah, said draft the unvaccinated. Then he had another. Then he had another tweet from that guy showing, you know, talking about how great it was that we got rid of these unvaccinated military guys. Yeah, it's like you're kicking them out. You're kicking out the unvaccinated. Uh, now you want to do that. All and right. all these certain uh, places, usually the medical places, going, oh, we're shortage on nurses. Well, you should have fired all of them yeah. for not being vaccinated. Morons. Mm-hmm. You get what you get. All right, number two. And I'm I'm gonna say this this I'm not talking about electric cars I'm talking about Teslas, all right? Because they're only okay. Because cool. some electric cars are super gay. Yes, they are absolutely. And so um, I got a Tesla because I like Elon Musk. It's cool. I, you know what? I can agree with that. Yeah, I, that I, that would be a reason. Uh, he is a refreshing voice in all the. He is a guy who could be just a major butthole if he, if wanted, he wanted to be. To be. Absolutely, he could, could. be. Mm-hmm. But he's cool. He's he he seems like a guy, really. That you he would to our little lowly podcast here. He would come in mm-hmm. and sit and talk with us. I think so. Yeah. And he has a reach. It's just like when when he was unwell, and whether he had COVID or didn't have COVID, when he when he pulled this little stunt, he went into an urgent care center or whatever to get tested. But he wanted to be tested three times by three different nurses. And he walked out of there with three different results and posted in his social media instantly. Yeah. Yeah. He's great. I know, but he's, he would do that. And then he has enough following to people yeah. care. Yeah, exactly. He has, he has the spirit that we used to have as a country. We're so lame now. Yeah. But he, you know, that crazy, I'm going to try it. They say I, mean, I can't did, do it, but I'm going to try it. He packed everything up from California and said, see California. Yeah. I'm out. Oh, and just went to Texas. You want to talk about a, crazy. you want to talk about a set. Just yeah. uprooting your entire company and saying, "See you later, bye." Okay. Yeah. So, so we're good. You guys agree? I agree, hundred percent. First two points. Yeah. You know, first two points. I agree, hundred percent with your first two points. All right. Good. All right. We're working on it. The reason why I don't have one, and because Elon's cool. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Number three, they're actually good cars. Now I've heard many debates on this, right? Because if I've got a TikToker who is a car fanatic, and it's a she. But she goes through and measures the paint thickness. She measures the material right. of the car. Carpet she quality, says, yeah. She says that Teslas are one of the cheapest built cars. Okay. She As material-wise. Yeah. Now, and she says... It's got to be to afford them she batteries. Says, yeah, she says the fit and finish <laughs> is not great in them either. Now, I disagree from what I've seen of them. I right. think the fit and finish is pretty nice. It's not on a Ferrari or a Bentley level. Right. It's not on a Bentley. No, no, but no. it's on a... $6,200,000 car level, in my opinion. Because yep. if you get in a $80,000 Suburban, 
you're gonna not get that's fantastic gonna, fit gonna and finish. Chevy. Yeah, yeah, you're getting <laughs> a mediocre fit and finish. Right. So I I agree with her and I disagree with her at the same time. It's I, not it's it's not Lexus or Mercedes quality, uh, not at all. But you're getting a lot more technology bang for the buck. But I think it's hard to do because it doesn't have a whole lot of knobs and stuff like that. And I think yeah. you, they use that to kind of spice up the cabin mm-hmm. when really you just have basically a screen and nothing else. At least a Tesla. Yeah has uh, actual gauges on it, you know, where you can yeah. see what's going on, not like a three where it's just... This is a blank panel. Just blank little panel. Right in the middle three, of three, everything. Uh, three has a screen and a steering wheel. That's it. Yeah. And, uh, but you know what? Uh, an electric car that does have a cool interior is my son's. Have you... Oh, the Beamer? It's a good-looking car. Yeah, the Beamer's... It, that's fantastic. The outside the of the car is hideous. The microwave. But the inside, it's, it's pretty cool. It is cool on the inside. It is cool, so... It could be done, but I, I'll agree on the the fit like with her. The, with fit, the fit and finish, finish. I, I don't know because all that much how much about. is a new Tesla? If I want to buy, buy a Model S right now, brand new, how brand much new, uh, base model. Ba- well, let's m- mid road. Let's say I want to go buy a mid road, not the best, not the worst, just kind of. Are you talking about the best being a plaid? Uh, yeah, let's just take their best car, their worst car, and go in the middle. Well, oh, your your sell. plaid starts at one thirty nine. Yeah, if you're gonna do like a seventy D. Uh, or just a 70, which is the entry level, maybe 60, 65. Okay. I was going to say, if it's a $100,000 car, I would expect a little bit more fit and finish. Just me personally. Right. A $60,000 car new, once again, you have to compare it to a $60,000 car, which right. now is a Mustang. It's a Honda Civic. Or, a, yeah, Honda <laughs> Civic in some cases. <laughs> Absolutely. So your fit and finish is on par with that. But now if it's a $120,000 car like the Plaid, I expect that to have fantastic And I would think that it would. There's got to be something that differentiates it between. I don't, that lady, from what I understand, says there's no difference between, the only difference you're getting is what the power plant. Plaid's just a firmware upgrade, isn't it? I don't know. I think it's got bigger, better motors. I could be mistaken. I don't. I don't really know. It is. That, it's faster. It's. It's. I don't I, see how. I don't see how either. <laughs> it's Elon with his iPad on his couch, going, "Oh, he's got a plaid." Yeah, he's got a plaid. We're gonna turn that on. <laughs> it's just like holy cow. Yeah. Oh, seriously. Uh, like you can get a full autopilot. They just you pay twelve twelve thousand dollars for it. But I'll drive myself. Thanks. They'll just send you a program, and boom, your cars all of a sudden can be fully yeah. automated. Yeah, which is cool that that's an option that you can do. Like oh that. my gosh, no way! They I mean, have actually, they had reports. They had a problem there for a little while with people falling asleep in their Tesla on the way to work. Yeah, that'd be fantastic. There's no if way I, I would do that. Me to work, I'm so, going to sleep. there's no way I would do that. So with your second Tesla, you you don't have autopilot on it, right? No, is not it the full autopilot. Is it something that you miss? No, no. I never put it you on. Never put it on. I right put now. it on just to show people. But that's, I'm, no, I always so, drive. I'm so, a driver, man. I want to drive. So when you say good cars, I, I, I'll, I'll agree. I think reliability-wise, they're, they're for the most part, pretty bulletproof. They are, and it's, uh, but they the driving dynamics is good. It, they ride well. Yes. It's it's a, it's a, it's just a good car. For, it's for a, a solid car. For a car with a tire that's that tall, <laughs> uh, it rides really well. You know, when you close the doors, they chunk when you when you yeah. close them. You know, it's not tinny. You know, you could tell you could tell how a car's made by the doors. Yeah. If you get a good sound when the doors close, the car's well made, and uh, they're just good cars. I just I just like them. I, I won't disagree that they're good cars. I and think they, are, they are good cars. And they are stupid fast. I was I was gonna say not fast. all of them. Not all. Not of all them. of them. No. But even even the the seventy D that you guys have ridden in is it's quick. It's quick. It's quick, but it's not. It's not. It's not anything ludicrous. like that. It's not ludicrous. So we, we ludicrous. Uh, oh my gosh! I'm here to tell you, mm. I've rode in some almost thousand horsepower cars, and that car wouldn't probably beat it to sixty. But by golly, it feels like it. It would. feels like it would. Holy cow! Mike was fast. screaming the whole ride. I loved it. Not a bad scream. Like yay! Like a yeah. giddy. The funnest part of that car is every time you get somebody in it and you hit ludicrous, everybody laughs. Yes, and it's not like it's not like a it's, it's a bad. It's laugh. So you don't it's scream. A, <laughs> oh, <no>. My <laughs> wife, who is not a car person at yes. all, she got in it, took it, put it in ludicrous, and hit it, and she was like, <laughs> she's like, I feel weird. I was like that's, that's <laughs> G forces. That's, that's what your that brain hitting the back. That's your, of your brain skull hitting the back of your is, skull. Yeah. It is it is that stupid. It's it, it fast. Just, was it two point eight 
something like that. Two point two point eight. We did we did an official that. three point one. Two point yeah, yeah two point eight zero to sixty for a car that weighs as much as it does. Yeah. Is impressive. Now, See, right again, now, people are like, Dead gum, I'd like to have that car. Once again, your quarter mile times are not fantastic, but that's a heavy, <laughs> heavy car. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. What, what, what are you going to say? Well, we're not going to race a quarter mile. Well, you're not going to race anybody to 60. There is nobody out there, unless you're on a track, that is worried about quarter mile Then times. why are you worried about zero to 60? Nobody. Because exactly. Zero, because zero Nobody's six, worried about zero to 60. Because you go from stoplight to stoplight. How you far can is a stoplight? Probably at least an eighth. You know, if you're in Evansville, every 10 yards. Well, that's true. But most of the time, an eighth, mile, an eighth mile to a quarter. So, once again, if if zero to 60 matters, quarter mile matters. He just will not. He's, he's like a babbling Joe Biden clone over here. <laughs> no, because I don't have it's any just All he talks about is quarter mile, quarter mile. Quarter well, mile. you want to talk about zero to he's 60. He's going to be on his front porch one day when he's like 90 going, quarter mile, quarter mile. Because if, like, if, if you race, if you're going to go up to JR and say, let's race, what do you want to race to? 60. We race to, a, we race to a line. Nobody in the history of racing has ever said, let's race to 60. Okay. Nobody. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we'll do you quarter race. mile. If we can go to the airport and do a quarter mile, that's great. You'll still where, beat Where are you going to find a straight quarter You'll mile here? You'll still beat him, but. No, where, I know my way. Quarter quarter we we got to start at 30. Eighth mile. Matter of fact, <clears throat> there is a well-known quarter mile that we used to race on all the time back in the day. It's just y'all are sissies anymore, and you don't go out and you actually use your cars like you're I, supposed I to. I would say let's But go, it's but not but scary when your 0 to 60 is 13 seconds. Once again, 1,000 horsepower cars were out there. All right. <laughs> I don't believe so, you. I don't believe you. That's fine. You don't have oh, to. Oh, I, I hit number four and didn't even try. What's that? They're stupid fun. It is, it is cool. They're stupid fun. It is, it is pretty cool. And like I said, even if you just get every – every, if you don't know anything about electric vehicles, they're, they're inst- all the torque that it has available it's is there. there just as soon as you hit the gas. Mm-hmm. Yep. And you know how it is, like like if you're in a vet or something like that, it, it feels like it has – even with a turbo, turbo has to spool up. Yep. And it's got to get up to a certain RPM, and then it has a torque it's fan. full torque and all that stuff yes. kicks in. Yes. Tesla, just as soon as you hit the pedal, it's gone. And, and to be clear, even the Model 3s, even the slow ones, are 0 to 60 in like 5 seconds flat. Yeah, and that's quick. That's quick. I mean, 5 seconds flat is moving pretty good. I, We're I mean, small, man. Remember how it used to be? Oh, my car, 0 to 60 in 7.5 seconds. And, and the night, I remember in night, it was 95, 96, when the Firebirds come out, because that's the car I always wanted. And I think it's 93 when they first came out. And they came out with the LT1. It was 280 horsepower. It propelled that car to 0 to 60 in 5.3 seconds. And people lost their mind. That's fast. 5.3 seconds. That's blazing. That is got fast. Two seconds. We can do that with four cylinders now. Yeah. No, you can't. Yeah, we can. No, you can't. What is it? Five, five, what is it? Five, four. Five something? It's five, five something. Eight. But I'm just five saying eight. four cylinder. Well, just think about the Evo, for example. Uh-huh. That's a four cylinder. Seven hundred horsepower. I'm gonna tell you what, cylinder. BMW's got a one series with a two point eight in it that, that would do that. Yeah, and then oh, they've also got V8s now that have six hundred horse from the factory. Car driver, my new car so. has five point four. There you go. I, I read that too. With race tires and everything set up perfect, it will. <laughs> yes, <laughs> on the street, yeah. <laughs> probably not. <laughs> yeah, it is. The, it don't. Yeah, the zero sixty times don't. You're going yeah, to if about, you look, at, don't read the internet for your zero sixties. Even though I just quoted an internet time for zero sixty. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna be three or four tenths yeah, of a second because slower. you are always gonna be slower than what they say because you do not have race licks. Number one, these are professional drivers. They're professional drivers. Wait, I thought we were. Well, we are, but well, you wrecked the car, so we can't talk. Oh, about that's you. true. That's true. You, I was a vessel. I told you that. <laughs> You've lost your car card. I was gonna say we need to go find this quarter. Wait a minute, I don't have a car. So yeah, you do. Are you gonna get a three? A uh, uh, Tesla? Yeah. No. Oh, you didn't talk him into it. You Too tried. expensive for me. Oh wait, what's that? Ah, uh, okay. We're keeping. Let's get going. Okay, keep going. Okay, you got, you got, you got Stick to, to the list. <clears throat> Number five, no gas. No gas. I can drive by a gas pump and just roll my window down and yell, "Suck it!" <laughs> I don't have to do anything. Never have to stop. I can't disagree. And day, this day and age, when you're driving by a gas pump, it's very refreshing. It really is. I can't. Well, disagree. but 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 we have to do that fairly, right? How, I mean, if we're we're looking at trends, how long do the batteries last in this? In this, nobody car? really knows. Are they not failing? Because I mean, everybody keeps they're... everybody keeps saying that they're they're going to fail, and it's like when they will, they're still though. going. But I mean, but they will. They will eventually. eventually yes. They will fail. But how much will we have spent on gas in that time? Okay, 
Elon no, Musk. No, I'm on both sides. I here. know, but Elon Musk can make a rocket go up. The fuel pods come off and land on an X. And NASA can't do that. <laughs> Back on Earth. Re- yeah. Remotely controlled. Yeah. I th- I think he made a battery that would but probably also, outlast no, 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 all no, no, of no, us. No, 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 no. Let's think about it. Why would you? If I can sell you an electric car every 10 years because the battery goes bad, yeah. why wouldn't I? But where's all the... The same way with tires. Okay. They can make tires that last longer than 100,000 miles. But you would say... They oh, that's true. But where would you, where are all these, it's like the missing links. Where are all the missing links? Where are all the Teslas with the bad batteries? That's what I'm saying. They might not be wearing it. But, but what, okay, what's, when did Tesla come out with their first one? What year? 13. Okay. So they got a seven-year battery uh, warranty, right? No. What's the warranty on it? Uh, I don't know what it was when it was new. Uh, actually, their pre-owned bat- uh, warranty is not as good as it used to be. But... Um, I don't know. I don't know if it was ten. It wasn't ten years. It may have been seven. Yeah. So we haven't even we haven't hit the ten year mark yet. <clears throat> no. Okay. So let's just say in ten years the batteries do start failing. I'm thinking thirteen. I'm at, yeah. So if you take a the first year they came out, how much is that car worth right now? If you're just talking base model with a hundred thousand miles on it, how much is that car worth? Uh, f- probably forty three. So you go and put a twenty-seven thousand dollar battery in this car. Whoa, twenty-seven thousand. Hold on. Do you want? Do we want internet numbers for these stats? Yeah, sure. go ahead. Because they say that a Tesla battery is done when it loses twenty percent of its charge. Okay. Ooh, dang. I would keep driving it. <laughs> right. right. So you, it's considered it. done at twenty percent. Where where you charge it all night and it only makes it to eighty yeah. percent. Yeah. Well, but and they say that you're losing five percent per hundred thousand miles. I find that very hard to believe, but okay. And both of these statistics I'm looking at say that the Tesla batteries that come with your car are good for 300,000 plus miles. Okay. And the replacement cost we'll in see. 2019 was five to 7,000. That is a total, according to the guy that tried to get it. That would be it, worth it. Repl- that was according that to, to it would be worth YouTube, it. It was $20,000 for Tesla to it be install. You got to install the battery too, not just buy it. Yeah. That's the entire bottom of the car. But car. I'm telling you, if... If I have this car and I have it for five or six years and put 200,000 miles on it and the battery goes bad on it, it's worth $20,000. I agree. But now, how much are we, how much does it cost to charge it? Oh, I, I you know whatever electricity is. I, you know. uh, my buddy at my former job looked at this because he was looking at a, one of the electric cars. I don't remember which one. Truck, wasn't he? Compared to, no. Oh. Compared to a, uh, he was looking at the BMW 3 Series. And a Tesla, I think, mm-hmm. and he was saying it was within That's a big jump was within a dollar a day difference to charge the Tesla versus buying gas. They said right now a dollar a day difference. Yeah, really. Tesla estimates you'll oh. save fifty six hundred dollars a year in gas. I don't know if I've. Oh, it, I, uh, right that, I right now, I say that's true. It's going to be more. right now. I'm spending four hundred dollars a month. So it's four hundred dollars a month, and I'm in a that's big old crew cab diesel. Forty eight hundred. So forty eight hundred, and now I'm in a pretty decent sized truck. So somebody driving a little gas saving car is probably yeah. spending twenty something. See, once again, I think their numbers are said that inflated. Well, they. I'm but sure, you don't drive your truck everywhere, right? I drive, yeah, mostly for the most but, part. But uh, yeah. I'm sure they base it on. But you, I would say that you don't put the standard. What is twelve thousand miles a year? Yeah. So I'm spending only four thousand. I don't know a year. if you put twelve thousand a year on that truck. I put ten. I put ten thousand on it last year. Okay, but you're still. If you had put twelve, you would have been up probably around fifty six hundred. Maybe, but yeah, but that's that's, that's just their estimate. I mean, they're gonna thirty thousand on my truck. You did? Mm-hmm. Well, you would have saved a buttload of money. <laughs> no, because he's not going to pull a camper with a Tesla. That's right. That's true. You're not going to. <laughs> that's true, but you're not going to pull it with a Corvette either. I mean, you just, no, but yeah. you'll sound really cool. You'll sound really cool doing it. That's still down. Well, you, you still looking at stuff, or can I go on? You're fine. Keep going. Oh, right. Okay. Well, if you're not going to pay attention, I'm not going to talk. Are you out of good right. points? You have two negative points. You're ten positive points. Which one's one negatives? Yeah, I just I don't I spend more than four thousand a year. Oh, okay. Negative. Yeah, I'm sorry. 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 I don't Every spend day. more than four thousand a year in gas uh, well, for one car. How much? Four thousand a year, probably tops. That's pretty good. 70, I mean, seventy to hundred dollars a week. Well, now it's eight thousand. You, you pay it. I mean, you you pay a lot to get get this car. Yeah, you get a tax write off on it, and then you do save gas. Yeah, 
so over if you if you keep it for ten years, the you save forty thousand dollars. The I tax mean, right? write-off is singular, yeah. though, right? Does our state charge you more to have an electric vehicle? Yes, they're going to get their money. You're not paying a yeah. gas tax. Oh, licensing. Yeah, my ins- my insurance is a hundred dollars more than my Corvette. What? Oh my. Six months or a year? Six months. Okay. And why? It, it's and why would your insurance cost? And I'm going to pay taxes because they up. know they're going to drive with ludicrous mode. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> yeah, I got got you there. And they're going to and 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 when I go register it, my taxes are going to be more. Yeah. Well, I'm just waiting for the power company to say, "You got an electric car." <laughs> Yeah, guess what? We're going to charge for that, too. Yeah. Because that's coming if everybody starts getting electric cars. But, you know, if you see this right here, I mean, a lot of that right there, what you're paying is actually there's tax in there, too. Especially yes. in California, you're paying a yeah. buttload in taxes. So but they're going to so they're going to get their tax money one way or the other. Mm-hmm. And so, but you do get a write-off on it. It is, and, you know, it's not big, but it is a write-off. And it is just one time, though, right? You don't get it every year? No, you get it every year. Every I year thought you, you only it. got it the year you bought it. Okay. No, no. Usually that that write off that you're talking about is the incentive from the government. Mm-hmm. No, this is actually on your taxes. You could be able to do that. But these gas prices are going to be here to stay um, for a while. I think. Yeah. No. Well, I mean, it's just like. Well, we just released sixty million barrels or something last. It's That's gonna, good for a day, isn't it? It's going to take. Yeah, it'll <laughs> take three months for that to even catch up. At the, at this I don't point. think it's going to us. I think we were sending it to Ukraine yeah, or something. Scary part <laughs> Yeah. The price. We yeah, did. We did. Going up. I hate to do this so late in the podcast because everybody's already off by now. But it's just like, oh, an angel got its <laughs> wings. Uh, where do fossil fuels come from? The ground. How did how did they get here? I don't know. We're the naming them many, after the, dinosaurs. You know how many dinosaurs would have had to petrify for us to have all those oil? I can't yeah. even imagine. There wouldn't have been any room for them to move. They would have been packed so close together. For yeah. all of this oil. Yeah, if you're ever interested in you're on the toilet and you want to read something, just look it up where it, it talks about how the, the earth is naturally reproducing oil. Yeah. What? It, it's Aww. not it's not deep it's decomposing not fossils or plantation or anything. You know. That sounds like renewable energy to me. It sounds Thanks like to shut up camera for that one. It sounds like God had a plan when he was doing nah. this. That's pretty amazing. It is amazing. So you're saying it's not dead dinosaurs. Yeah. Not billions of billions and billions of dead dinosaurs. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's where all the missing links went. They're, they all decomposed and became fossil fuel. We put them in our gas tank. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-uh. Unbelievable. I need, I'm going to take these global warming people and bring them out. To, I'm going to take them on that train trip I took in Alaska where you just drive for, you just go for eight hours and see nothing. Yeah. Of just pristine... Look. Country, Beautiful. it's just like Maybe okay. Let's not go to Alaska. All right. Um, Speaking, of, since we're still again, I did the tax write-off. I threw that in there too. Yeah, you got tax write-off. All right, we're gonna wrap this up. No maintenance, and you don't understand how great it is to not have any maintenance on a car. Tires and brakes. You don't have to change. There's no fluids at all in that thing. You have to manage uh, your wi- wiper fluid. That's it. That's it. Okay, so There's no, so you're literally you're the only thing you're taking out of it I don't is even use changing that. oil. Because you still have tires, transmission you still fluid. have brakes. Transmit, no, but it's not, okay. it's not, it's not the, okay, not I've the, had cars with 200, i got a truck with 260,000 miles on it. I've never done anything to the right. transmission. shut up. I misspoke. Okay, sorry. <laughs> not, but he, I should have been, I should have clarified my clar- remarks. Okay? Clarify no maintenance. No maintenance, no repairs. Tires and brakes. I haven't ever replaced any brakes. I don't ever use them. You you, will, you have that ass. I, I use them now, but I, I have never. Smoking by the time we were done. And tires, I've had. I still have the same tires on. Because you don't drive them. I don't drive it that much, but <laughs> you drive it ten miles. But a every year, every week, I've got a vehicle that's in the shop. Because your all the rest of your vehicles are older. Well, internal combustion engines, they're just going to break down. They just do. The belts go bad. I, the plugs go bad. They just break down. They do with with a, I, a Tesla. You don't ever have to worry about that. Well, here's the thing. You, you will. You will. Because I, in the industry I'm in, the industry I'm in has had industrial batteries. I'm going to start in, calling him Dr. Doom. That's what he is. You want? You told me to be the bad guy here, so I'm the bad guy. Mm-hmm. I've been in I, a world I tell you that? with industrial mm-hmm. batteries and industrial AC engines for 15 years now. Yes, you have. Okay? Yes. To say that they don't break down, 
would say that I don't need a job anymore. They do break down, but those are not the type of – they're not the same batteries that are put in a Tesla. They are – Based on the same thing, uh, yeah, but a hundred percent. They're not exactly the same, but no, but they still have moving parts. I that just, motor I has just moving know. Parts. I've driven the car for four years and put how many miles on it? Uh, twenty thousand. How many did you put on a Corvette? Ten. And how many years? Three. Ten miles. Okay. <laughs> no, 10 so miles. ten thousand miles. How many problems did you have about that Corvette? I didn't have any. Oh, wait, but it's an internal combustion engine. Shouldn't but it, it just blow it up? It had 10,000 miles on it. Shouldn't it just blow it up? You only got 20 got, on your Tesla. Tes- no, nah, it's got more than that. 25. But nothing happened. But you don't have to do anything to it. It never, Nothing is, can wear out on it. I have 160,000 miles on I a 5.3. I did have a straight. I have never out. done anything to it besides a starter. And that was my okay. own fault because I smoked a ditch. <laughs> and cracked the starter. You're either going to have good luck or you're not. You're because somebody could buy a Tesla tomorrow <laughs> and the motor could go out of it. Attaboy, who's your headline? And how oh, much yeah. is that motor going to cost in that Tesla? All right. We'll compare. I'll put spark right. plugs every in my year. 5 3 and every you year. put brush motors in your. Every in your year. Motor. We'll, we we'll compare prices. We should compare maintenance. We'll compare years. maintenance every year. Okay. Let me go buy a brand new car. Mine's not brand new. Well, how many miles it got on it? Thirty-four thousand. I own nothing with thirty-four thousand. We'll we'll compare it to the car I'm going to buy next week. All right, that's fine. If you get two comparable, you start out with a Tesla with zero miles and a car with zero miles, especially a car from no. You are not making any sense whatsoever. Especially a car from today's era. A Tesla with how many miles? Because a car thirty-four. Okay, so 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 shut up, Cameron's new car, his little four-cylinder. It will probably get two hundred thousand plus before he has to do anything to the engine. Because, A, it's a Toyota. Toyota builds stout stuff. They just do. That's true. So, I bet he puts 200000 on it if he doesn't do anything stupid to it. What do you want to bet? We're going to do something stupid to it, though. That's the problem. <laughs> like, what, do you, what, do you, what do you want to bet? I'm not because they're going to put exhaust and all this, and they're going to race crap out of it. You don't think at, at 200000 miles he's going to have to replace the belts? He's not going to have that car for 200000 Okay. Miles. So, in 200000 miles, he replaced a $30 belt. No, 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 no. It's something that's going to go wrong with them. It just it, nothing against the internal combustion engine. Now, it well, just happens. It just however, does happen. It's a little unfair, a little bit because I know what my manual says: change the oil every so many miles. I'm changing it when I want to change it, and it's probably twice as often as that manual. <laughs> so that's true. You're causing that maintenance yeah, on but, yourself. Oh, oh, but even old changes now have gotten stupid. Oh yeah, I will agree. Not that's only. why you buy your lift. You don't have to worry about that. You pay your. Oh, you I'll pay crawl your under it. I changed my oil for forty. I bought a power washer. I bought an electric power washer. You I'm did? gonna and I'm it's gonna pay for itself in one year. Yep. It's a good it's really good, by the way. Yeah. Get your electric power washer, it's fantastic. I know. Go green. I know, Go believe green. it or not. They're they're actually I'm gonna revoke their man card. Too by yeah. electric. The last reason is you're just different from everybody else. That's right. Me shut up, Cameron is the only one in this room that agrees with me. <laughs> you two drive diesels and Well, that's true. We're the only <laughs> men in well, he drives a diesel too, though. Yep. See, he's like split. He's a split crowd. He plays whatever side he wants at the time. He can play whatever side because he has a, he has a diesel. Tank. My daily driver is a Hummer. <laughs> we were in front of you today, by the way. Uh, huh? We were in front of you, by the way. And you want to talk about maintenance? Okay, now yes, a Hummer has maintenance. Yeah. You know why? Because it was one of the most unreliable vehicles that GM ever made. That's a five three. It's not unreliable. And you know many, that. And how many times? How many times have you touched the engine in it? I don't know, but I've never had cars in my entire life where the brakes totally go out, and I've had two this year. <laughs> <laughs> One was probably Tesla. No, <laughs> I think you brought. I think you brought negatives to your yeah. to your. Yeah, let's hear your negatives negative. before you hear. Mike mine. is the only living brain donor. What and you brought negatives to the table? <laughs> he can hate all he wants. It's fine. <laughs> don't care. I'm uh, representing. The brakes went out. I had to. I'm pulling in the garage and the brakes go out. <laughs> well, at least you're pulling into the garage. The, the mercy brake works. Out. Still works though. When you, yeah, when that's your brakes go driven. out. Yeah. So it's cable. I had to put some emergency brakes. It's kind of scary. Um, last reason you're, you're just you're I don't know it's just you're just different from everybody else. <laughs> you're different, all right. <laughs> In a good way. You can be like everybody else and drive your diesel, drive your little girl chick car. I like different. Ooh, haters gotta hate. I like I different. I do too. That's why I have a car with three doors. Yeah. Who thinks the Tesla threes? <laughs> it says the Model Three is better looking than the S. <laughs> Right you now. have the ugly Tesla. Oh, that's Tesla. true. That's true. You have the ugly yeah. Tesla. I, uh, Your Tesla looks fine. I just prefer smaller cars. <laughs> I just disregard anything they the say. The Tesla's big. <laughs> it's a big car. 
And I disregard what you say. In fact, I'm not listening to anybody in here right now. La, 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 la. What are your negatives? <laughs> what are your negatives? Yeah, what are your negatives? I want to hear them. Uh, the price. But okay, I'll I'll be on the other side of this one. <laughs> Go buy a new car today. Well, that's true. A, a, I, I saw today that a, a LT, LTZ, which is a fairly loaded up Suburban, okay? It's a nice, it's not a high country. It's oh, just I don't a nice, even want to know. High country, $83,000. Yeah. For an LTZ. Nice ride, but that's $83,000 for a car that used to be 50. I went, I went to the Ford dealer, looked at a truck, an $85,000 F250. He goes, it's got a tow package. Yeah. And I'm so, thinking eighty five thousand dollars. It needs to drive itself and set up for me at the camp. So you route. compare that the prices of cars now because Teslas have not shot up insanely like the rest of the car market no. has. So I think to that point, I would almost say they're kind of comparable, right? I would now. think so. And if you're gonna if you're gonna buy one, buy from Tesla direct. Do yes. not buy yeah from yep. dealers. Carvana. Right. Well, does Carvana, but if Carvana might Carvana have sells Tesla. Uh, sells Tesla, but I found my exact car online. I sent it to my wife because I was like, praise God. Uh, I found my exact car online, and it was $11,000 more from a dealer. Really? Yep. Well, they know, it's, they know what they, they know what they have. They, we know, I know Tesla, what I got. They know what they well, have. Yeah. That's just it. It doesn't matter what they have if they actually have, have something. It, yeah. It's just like to get a Type R right now. MSRP on a Type R, 32000 what, and what's this, what, and they're what selling, are they selling in the for? '60s in yeah. the dealers. So once again, I think <laughs> if you look at car prices now, Teslas are not as insane as a few years ago. You know, a few years ago, you look at Tesla, yeah. and like, oh man, that's a little bit much for that car. But now you look at it and go, oh, eighty thousand dollars for a suburban or sixty thousand dollars for an electric car. That's well, part of the right. plan. That's part of the plan too. Then I make all so. the other cars yeah. so expensive, Tesla don't look so bad anymore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, they, they when they when they say to you, okay, your alternative is to buy an electric car, and then it's so expensive you can't buy it. What are you supposed? Yeah, you can't afford, to do it. You that? can't afford gas, but I you can't afford works. to go buy an electric car. <laughs> That's what you're so what are you going to do? Ride a bicycle. Ride a bicycle. <laughs> Buttigieg, do you see what he did that one time where he drove the suburban? I kid you not, folks. Look it up. It's on the internet. He drove, rode in his suburban to like um to within a half a mile of the capital. Went back there, got bicycles out, and then rode the bicycle the rest of the way. <laughs> wow, that's that's what that's what, I think that's what evil show. does, folks. Virtue signal. I know yeah. it. Yeah, putting on a show. Uh, the last reason, the last negative. And I'm sure you guys have you pointed out several tonight. Uh, You're welcome. I'm not listening to you though, because uh, you know it's cool. You know it's a cool car. A cool I can just sit here and laugh because you guys. Or just like, it's a cool car. I admit I, uh, it. That's what I they'll admit. do. That's what they'll say at the I end. When they get off it's here, cool they'll be like, hey, No, I'm car. saying it right now. That Model S, when you go 0 to 60 in 2.8 seconds, is freaking cool. That is cool. Do I want one personally? No, because I want vroom vroom. They're not for everybody. I get that. Yeah. yeah. I get but that. now, if somebody wants to give me one, I'll drive it. <laughs> I'll, I'll drive it all day long. I'll drive a leaf. Here's the thing. I, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> vroom vroom. Yeah, uh, the newer ones you did, they did. they had this pedestrian warning system they have put on They're there. So quiet they had to make engine sounds. <laughs> it is. Which All you gotta do is just sit in the car and just go whoop when you hit yeah. it. Um, yeah. Until we were sitting there, we tried, we put in Ludicrous Plus. This thing started going. You hear a little fans kicking on. Like, all oh, batteries yeah. were coming on. And then I yeah. uh, I said I'm scared. <laughs> yeah. I was I scared to death. I was yeah. turned off because that thing literally sounded like it was you know getting ready to launch. I mean, it it did. It did. we were getting ready to launch. We he wouldn't do it because he's a sissy. I am a sissy. I give you 100%. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have anything problem against Teslas. I actually liked Teslas a lot back in 2018, 2019. I, I think I just, Teslas are. I'm never going to be in a place to afford one. So. Yeah. I, yeah. The same way. I, that. Yeah. Uh, but yes, this, this is what people do. And, and these guys wouldn't do it. But. Oh, I could. I never spend that much money on a vehicle, and then they'll go out and they'll drop ninety thousand dollars for a dealer. I, I agree. I, I, but I'm not going to spend ninety thousand dollars on nothing. Like it's just me. No, like, I, I mean, don't. No. I don't like vehicles that much. <laughs> you it's know, just, it's, just it's not going to happen. I'd buy one. He would. You'd He'd buy, buy an electric I'd, car. I'd buy a Tesla. But I know you, Cameron. You would buy nothing less than the Plaid. So you've just spent a lot of money. Yeah, well, that's yeah. true. You can yeah. buy. You could have bought a house for that. Um, yeah. The range you could have is, bought two Supras for that. The range is bad on them. <laughs> well, yeah, I agree. That's that's the that's the major killer for electric. Is if I jump in that car I, and I want, let's just say I want to drive to Texas for some stupid reason, yeah. I want to be able to do it, and not have to. You got to stop three times. 
for two hours. And you have to stop at strategic places. Yeah. Now, in the future, they will probably have charging stations at every gas station or whatever. Tesla's got a good network running. We we were going to take it. We we talked about taking it to South Dakota, Mm -hmm. which is a 15-hour drive, and we were going to have to stop six times. That's not terrible. No, it's not terrible and at it's all. it's a two-hour supercharge? Is that, or is it an, down to an hour now? No, it's 25 minutes. Oh, that's okay. faster than now, I thought. Now, now here's, here's the con. The cons of that is, once again, being a little bit, not having a little bit of knowledge on batteries and the charge cycles. Is the fast charge you fast hard charge hard. a battery, you are sucking the life out of that battery. Oh, now, that's oh, true yeah. for phones. I don't know anything about for, battery. Is it a lithium battery? They're lithium in those, yes. So supercharging a lithium battery is it's terrible. It's really bad. That's yeah. even worse than the old lead cell batteries. Right. So it's hard. I, I want to yeah. know what happens. Like most people who have Teslas are not doing that very. Yeah, often. they're plugging it in at home. Yeah. yeah, they're plugging it in at home. They're getting the slow charge, which Absolutely. is good for the battery. You yeah. know, it, it. But when you have somebody like that, it's going to take the long trips. I'd like to know how bad that is on that battery. So if you find somebody that's done nothing but supercharge that thing every week. Yeah, I wonder how long that battery. That's, that's a last. good point, but that, Tesla will tell you, like with the engine, with the with the uh, battery, you don't do a full charge. They really don't want you to do that. No, no, that's not good for a lithium battery. You don't do a full charge on it unless you're going on a trip. Then they they say yeah. it's called trip mode. Then yes. you do the full charge. But when you do your navigation on a Tesla, and you're going somewhere. It tells you where all the superchargers are Which on your trip. Which is pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Twenty five minutes ain't bad. No, but I mean, that, that scares even, me. Well, I, you know, I mean, I, we're going to, you stop for gas and a sandwich. I, say, I would say 45 minutes. minutes. I yeah. would say 45 for a full charge. Oh, okay. Yeah. But usually they have them all at restaurants, places like that, yeah. and you stop and you and, get something and the, to eat. what's the range? 300 plus miles? 300 miles. 315. So, so let's say 300 miles, you're driving 60 mile an hour, four or five hours. You're going to be hungry within four or five hours. Yeah. You're going to want to stop and get something to eat, take a break, whatever. So that's, that's not terrible to But me. you have to be careful about it, too, because... When you're driving one, you're you're heating, you're air conditioning, keeping oh, your foot yeah. in it all the time. Yeah, ludicrous mode. Yeah, I dr- I came, I had a full charge, and I I drove from here to Indy without. That's impressive. Yeah. So that that's good. That's a what's a three that's a three hour drive. Or you could just put a diesel generator in the trunk. That's two hundred and some miles. Yeah. Yeah. Put and a that, diesel generator in the trunk, drill a hole, put the exhaust stack out. Start that bad boy up. Just go as far as you want. That's true. <laughs> a diesel generator. <laughs> diesel that, power that, Tesla. You could do that. But I was I was doing that. I mean, but then again, I was in stop and go traffic and, and had yeah. my foot in it on every occasion. And yeah. So there you go. Well, I didn't convince them, but I don't care. Nah. So. No. I sorry. I like my Yee Yee diesels. But they they would drive one if, if somebody gave it to them. A hundred percent. But I to back that point, I would also drive a Prius. If anybody wants to give me one of those, I'll drive it. Mm-hmm. The only car I will not drive is a Juke. <laughs> I will drive it off into a ditch. Even the Nismo? I don't care if it's got a Skyline engine. Not doing it. <laughs> it's not for There's a it. certain level of manliness I must maintain, and that would take whatever little bit I have left, and I just can't I can't afford it. I wouldn't do it. The new uh, NSX is a hybrid. Is it? Yeah. It's a quick hybrid. I tell you what, with electric cars and and most of, I think even F one like is F one going to electric. So yes, they have an electric class. They're not F one themselves not electric, but they have an electric. I would class. be scared to death uh, to do an F one so car with electric. Is engine. it the McLaren? One of the McLarens that has electric takeoff. Yeah, and then the engine. So that's the best of both worlds because electric, as you know, to sixty is stupid because you have power on demand. And once it gets to that point, it starts actually throttling in engine power because now that the engine's up speed and the engine's up, the engine actually starts taking over, and then you get the rest of your. That power would be cool if that. it worked that way. And then, yeah. like if you're traveling on the interstate, you're running on it, like uh, a four cylinder. It wasn't McLaren. Who was the one? Uh, dude, super smart. He's bald. I can't think of his name. It wasn't McLaren. It was, it was one of the higher up, like top tier cars that only have like you know a hundred in production or whatever. Yeah. Can't remember the name of it. It was some odd little supercar. It looked like a McLaren, but they had it. He had a design basically where it did that. The electric motors took off. It had four electric motors, so yeah. it had one on each wheel, and its zero sixty was stupid. And then once it got to like a hundred mile an hour or whatever, that's when the, the engine would take yeah, over that, that, and power. That'd be and that's, great. That's a that's that's the key right there. That'd and then you're charging ride. your car all night and putting gas in it. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but when you're driving yeah. a car like that. Uh, that thing, that, those prices over there, they they don't matter. 
Well, the uh, the i8, which is the BMW, is uh, one of the most beautiful cars out there. This is the one with the Lambo doors on it. Mm-hmm. But it's, it's oh gosh, it was horrible. Its range was horrible. And you're dropping one hundred twenty, two hundred thirty thousand dollars for that? It's like, no. Once again, you got that kind of money, you don't care. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you or know, you'd be like but... Stephen Colbert and just basically, you know, hey, we all need to do our part. So we don't care if it gets to $15 a gallon. But you're a millionaire. That's why you yeah, can say that. Yeah, he doesn't care. You obnoxious asshole. <laughs> Got uh, him. I'm at the end, so nobody's watching. Yeah, anyway, nobody no at this point. That's what he is. Wow, we went a long way on that one. We, we got started talking about cars, and we cars get rabid, us. man. Yeah, we do. We weren't talking about cars. We were talking about electric cars. Yeah. Okay. JR wants to make yep. sure that's a very clear point. They're not cars. They're electric cars. He did say that. He did. I didn't say they were almost cars. Did, I said we insulting. didn't talk about cars. Almost we just insulting. talked about I'll electric I'll tell you what. I'll bring the Tesla out and run you backwards. Backwards? Ooh. And still beat you. He has to ride a bike right now. Yeah. It would be I, much I have, I have a rental race. out there. I have a rental. That's true. All right. We love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to tell your friends and uh, if you have any. <laughs> And uh, if you're watching at this point. We do join. The, we enjoy this intimate time that we have with you on Uranus. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Love you guys. God bless. See you. Peace. <laughs> my power son at the end. <laughs> oh my gosh. Multiple cigar wrappers and Garth bottle. It's totally bourbon. bored. Yeah, he's like, Mission why did they talk about that? Yep. You've been listening to the Gospel Bro with Pastor Lee, J.R. Robinson. That would be a bad thing. Who's your hillbilly? Well, you don't have anything else. If, if we'd ever get decent money out here, we'd do this one. We can't keep politics, up with it right now. Cars, guns, guns, we could broadcast in 480. If we could do it live and have like... Like, we hope you enjoy like, like, yeah. like live chat know, going on. That would be we'll fantastic. Be back soon. And and but Garth would have to being a stay up till oh, oh, 1 o'clock in the morning or something. Yeah. No, midnight. Yeah.